Well, let's talk about Canadian connections with immigration lawyer Robert Blanchet. He's Robert, we have this um, safe cut third countries agreement where an asylum seeker cannot claim asylum in Canada if they're coming from the safety of the U.S. Does this have you wondering if the U.S. is still a safe third country? Absolutely. I think, if anything, I mean, the Safe Third Country Agreement has been a bone of contention in Canada and between the Americans and the Canadians for years and years. There's nothing new here about the consternation and the worry about this agreement between both countries. And I think this question whether the United States really is a safe country in terms of uh, their refugee determination process, well, uh, the cat is out of the bag. If this issue with uh, uh, detaining, separating children, um, and detaining them from their parents. If this doesn't jar Canadians and Minister Hussein uh, to, to tear down this agreement, uh, I'm not sure what will. I'm curious what would happen, in your view, if a family has come to Canada and is deported to the U.S. from Canada uh, with facing that risk of being separated from their kids. Doesn't that bolster our argument that it's not a safe third country at all? Absolutely, a thousand percent. I think it, it reflects the fact that the Canadian refugee determination system and the U.S. refugee determination system is vastly different. There's a chasm between both. It's very interesting, actually. In August 2010, the MV Sun C uh, arrived in British Columbia. It was carrying around 492 Sri Lankan Tamils. And all of those passengers were detained. But you know what? They were given the right to claim refugee status. They certainly weren't prosecuted. And any of the children on that ship, and there were loads of children on that ship, the Canadian government took measures to place them in a separate detention centre with their mothers. So a vastly different way to treat this whole issue of a child with their parent. Can we just rip up this agreement, say that, you know, the U.S. Was, is violating the spirit of it, or do we have to abide by it and have some formal de-ratification process? Well, I think the start point is we need the government and we need a minister that, that understands that it does have to be suspended immediately, not modernized. Um, you have top U.N. human rights officials, uh, World Refugee Day is two days away. All eyes can be on Canada, and it's incumbent on Canada and the Canadian government first uh, to, to form that policy that the, the agreement needs to be suspended like yesterday. And then, you know, with the delicate territory of, of NAFTA negotiations and uh, the fun they had in Charlevoix last weekend, uh, that might make them a bit sort of uh, uh, sheepish around the issue. But uh, this is not a time to be sheepish. This is children. I think one of the messages that Canadians need to bear in mind here is that these children are coming from countries which have some of the highest murder rates of children around the world. So whether this is a family from Honduras crossing into southern Texas or whether these are people trying to get into Canada to claim refugee status that are barred from doing so because they don't have an anchor relative in Canada and they're deemed ineligible to forward the claim. Uh, I think bells and whistles are going off here for, for so many reasons why safe third country needs to be revisited. I'm curious if a family does arrive here illegally, if, if we were following, as Trump says he's doing, just following the letter of the law, uh, zero tolerance and stuff, would those families under any circumstances be separated or are we obliged to keep them together in Canada? Well, I don't think that's ever been the practice. I couldn't imagine a scenario where that would be the case. I, I mean, the only plausible scenario is perhaps if there's a parent uh, that is unable to care for the child, perhaps is too ill to care for the child, needs to be hospitalized. But I think uh, all measures are taken not to separate the child from their parent. That's a, a fundamental uh, charter right. And I think uh, Canadians would be up in arms um, if they felt and believed that the government of Canada was sort of uh, arbitrarily separating children from their parents. Again, the situation with the MV Sun Sea in British Columbia was a great example of that. All right, Robert, I think you're right on that one. Uh, we appreciate your insight. Thanks for having me.